So you actually compared Soldier Boy to Tupac. Yeah, why not? People were in an uproar. Like when we posted that story. I care about that shit. It was like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm so sick of giving my opinion on Tupac because it's so honest and genuine. And people be thinking it's from a slanderous point. And that's what gets me more mad than anything. That people think I'm trying to slander him. It's like, no, this is from an honest point of view, my assessment. If you wasn't being so stuck into a fan, you might see some of these things also. And the reason I said Soldier Boy was Tupac is because the way I felt like he was coming at people, he shot people, he had a real outlandish attitude when the cameras come on soldier boy is a movie that was tupac you know what i mean the only thing i said was that i said this was my exact tweet i said soldier boy is tupac without reading the isis papers or um the willie lynch yeah. you know what i mean letters so people was like what do you mean i said how you ain't get that how you ain't get that Tupac was righteous, but he was also retarded. Well, you're not retarded. I don't want to call him retarded, but Tupac did a lot no, no, of crazy he, he, shit. He was, he was wild. So people honored Tupac when he was spitting at the camera, right? But they also honored Tupac when he was talking about black mothers yeah. having kids underage. You know what I mean? And I'm like, yo, if somebody else spits at the camera, y'all going to try to body them and say, yo, this motherfucker spit at the camera, he's disrespectful. But when Tupac did it, it was honorable. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I get because from from Soldier Boy is that Soldier Boy is just wilding out right now. And maybe if he had a little bit of knowledge of self and had a knowledge of who he is as a black man and certain things, he wouldn't even wild the way he's wild. He might direct that energy in a different place. And that's why I felt like help happened with Tupac a lot. Tupac was a thug that understood um, what a black man was and knowledge of self. And he had knowledge of self. So even times when he got off his rocker, he would get back on it and be like, hold on. You right. know what I mean? And get back into a knowledgeable state. So when I said that, a lot of people was like, how dare you compare Tupac to Soldier Boy and all this bullshit? And I'm like, nigga, whatever. Imagine motherfucking Tupac had Instagram Live right now mm. or had Instagram or Twitter, period. Yeah, that's a good point. You can't imagine the shit Tupac would have said. It wasn't that many cameras back then. Right. And we got the shit that we got out of Tupac. So imagine now. Imagine Tupac with his own camera in his hand. Yeah, if we Tupac... might have either loved him or we might have either hated him because what happens is that over time is that you might love somebody for the things they said, but the more they talk, what happens is that people see flaws in them. And when people see flaws, they be like, oh, he's a hypocrite or he's this or he's that. I've been having a discussion on Twitter the last couple of days where women... Um, where I've been saying, yo, women be saying that they god fearing and they want a god fearing man and this, that, and the third. And then... They fuck you out of wedlock. And then they be mad when you cheat on them. But they told you they was God-fearing, right? They told you they was faithful to God, but they still had sex with you out of wedlock, right? And then they mad at you when you cheat on them. Well, you couldn't be faithful to God, and you told me that's who you was faithful to. Well, I think what happens is that once somebody dies, they reach a level of perfection in terms of the way people view with them that's not possible while they're alive. You see what I'm saying? It's like you take like a Shorty Lowe. You can't talk about how Shorty Lowe had all these baby mamas, had like 11 baby mamas and stuff like that because he died and he's revered. And, you know, you he gets put on a pedestal. Mm-hmm. And whatever flaws he had get downplayed because now he's dead. And talking about the dead is generally frowned upon, no matter who he is, unless he was just a total piece of shit. Man, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That's what's wrong with people. They would be worried about these society rules. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not supposed to talk about the dead. Who said that? Who who sent that kite? Who? <laughs> who? Tell me, who gave you that rule? Because it is what it is. What you did, what you did when you were alive is when you did what you were alive. So you're going to tell me, I can't talk about this dead man beating his wife, right? But I could talk about Frederick Douglass 
doing whatever the fuck he did. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me I can't talk about what the the dead did in a negative state, but only talk about the positive state because they're not here to protect themselves. Are they here to pr protect themselves against positive statements? What if I make up a lie about a positive statement that a dead man did? You understand what I'm saying? What if I say, yo, you know Tupac once gave 355 computers to such and such high school? You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where's Tupac to say that ain't true? You understand what I'm saying? So don't tell me I can't talk about the dead in a negative light if the shit is true. I could say whatever I want is true. 